Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of somebody who is having some very romantic feelings here. I do see an expressive energy. Someone is wanting to wear their heart on their sleeve here. Um, someone may be extending some sort of invitation, a romantic invitation as well with this energy. So I do see somebody is um, being very romantically expressive here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Virgo. Okay, so the first card we have is the devil in the reverse and this is capricorn energy so you could be dealing with a capricorn next we have the high priestess pisces energy so you could be dealing with a pisces and finally we have the seven of wands fire energy Okay, so there is definitely a situation here with the devil in the reverse. You may have cut some sort of tie to someone. Um, the situation may have become a bit um, toxic or um, it was just an unhealthy attachment. And I do see with the devil being in the reverse, it's like you released this um, attachment. You freed yourself from the situation. And with the high priestess, this could be, again, you keeping your energy to yourself. You not communicating with this person. There is even a mysterious energy around the high priestess. Someone could be looking at you as someone who they cannot figure out right now they don't know where they stand with you they don't know how you feel there is just the sense of you may be ignoring this person or you just may not be open to communicating how you truly feel um, about the situation or about this person so there is definitely someone who wants to bring back a connection they want to revive a connection they want to fight for a connection with the seven of wands this person feels like their uh territory is threatened um this person could have been very possessive or um, they could have, with the devil energy here, there is just a, an unhealthy way of attaching to another person here. And this person may still have this attachment. There's still this desire to fight for what is theirs because they believe that this is definitely a connection that, um, you know, that is theirs. And they feel very strongly here. I'm seeing someone who still deeply desires you. They want the connection to be revived. And with the Knight of Cups, this person may be approaching you with, um, you know, taking the more romantic approach to try to bring back the situation. Um, this is someone who's fighting for the relationship. So I do see them um, being very expressive towards you emotionally. Um, this person may be coming towards you with a more um, healthy approach as well this time around. There is the sense of wanting to come across as genuine and sincere. And they're going to say all the right things. This is a very charming energy with this Knight of Cups. So I do see someone trying to win you over. Um, this is definitely someone who feels like they it's like they're stepping into unsure territory here because they don't know how you're going to react. They don't know how you feel. With the High Priestess, they're looking at you as quite a mystery right now. But I do still see them, you know, putting themselves out there and wearing their heart on their sleeve. So let's clarify these cards, Virgo.
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. And this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Okay, so this person is definitely seeing yourself, seeing you as someone who has freed themselves. Um, they feel like they don't really have a hold on you anymore. They're looking at you as someone who has taken back their power. And there is, again, that sense of you having released an attachment that made you feel trapped or in bondage there's just a freedom that you found here and i do see that you may have distanced yourself from a connection here okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this virgo okay so the first card we have is the ten of pentacles and this is earth energy next you have the ten of swords air energy and finally we have the five of swords air energy Okay, so there's definitely someone who's constantly looking over. They, they still want to know what you've got going on. They don't want to give up on this. This is someone who wants something long term with you. They may have seen you as someone who, um, you know, this could have been a connection that has gone on for a very long time. Um, but I am seeing it's like there was a breakup or an ending or a separation with the Ten of Swords a painful one um this is someone who you may have felt like they betrayed your best interests in some way um but you were definitely serving this person's interest because i do see this person is still very attached to you and they're willing to invest in this they will they're willing to you know go out of their way to keep this connection going um i do see this person could have been someone who was very possessive or even a very jealous person with this five of swords energy also i was seeing someone here who's very ego based um even the desire to restart the connection, there's, there's still a bit of some ego attached to their desire. With the Five of Swords, I, I do see someone here who it's almost like they have a hard time admitting defeat or admitting when they are wrong. Um, this is someone who doesn't want to give up. They don't want you to give up on them. There is the sense of wanting to maintain something um, by force almost. Um, so I do see them very invested. This, this person is very invested in you and what you've got going on. With the Ten of Swords, um, the Ten of Pentacles here, um, and the High Priestess, they are very curious about you. They want to figure out where you stand with them, and um, they, they, I'm seeing someone is not ready to release this attachment. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, Virgo. So the card says your commitment is being tested first quarter moon okay so definitely with the devil um and the ten of pentacles there i also do see someone who may have been very materialistic a very um you know and a very ego based type of person here and they, with this um energy here this person is looking at the situation as something that they can still redeem they're looking at it as if as if it's a temporary ending they feel like they can still change your mind they can still convince you that this is just a test and they can still succeed in bringing back the situation around okay so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Virgo. Okay, so the card says finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, so again, we're seeing that materialism. This is someone who, you know, they may even try to buy your love. Um, there's, I'm seeing a very um, materialistic person here. And with the devil showing up, it, it may be um, a strategic or a tactic that they use to, um, to try to regain control in a situation here. They may try to buy your love or um, show you how while well they're doing financially or in the career. There is something that they, with the this um, materialism and this ego energy here. Um, this person may resort to some tactic relating to that. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Virgo. Okay, so the card says morning glory, affection and determination. The morning glory, which blooms for a day, differs not at heart from the giant pine that lives for a thousand years. 
Okay, so this person definitely, I'm seeing someone who's not ready to give up on a situation, on a connection here. Um, I do see someone who feels like this is a connection that was good for them or their image or, um, you know, there is some sort of ego need that was being met here um, because you have the devil. It, 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 it is looking like an ego-based attachment here. And um, I do see someone who may use, um, you know, materialism as a way to gain control or there may even be someone who is who was dependent on you in some way when it comes to materialism but i do see someone who's not ready to give up they're, they're, they're very determined to um to win you back here to get this connection back on track okay so that's what i'm seeing for you um virgo i hope you have a really really good day virgo bye virgo